I know you guys don't know Margaret, mm. but guess who's about to cannonball back into the dating pool? Oh. Oh. I'm guessing it's Margaret. Yep, her friend <laughs> set her up for a prank phone call today because she signed up for a few different singles events. Mm-hmm. And look, if you think the male dating scene is full of losers and weirdos and creepers, mm-hmm. you'd be wrong. Mm. Oh, oh, really? The yeah. ones we have set up for her to meet today are way, way worse than that. <laughs> It's a rapid fire speed dating disaster okay. in your brand new phone tab right now. Hello? Hi, is this Margaret? Uh, yeah. This is Denise. Speaking? Listen, this is Denise Arnakin, and I'm calling from Singles. I'm just wondering, like, are you running a little bit late? Are you in a garage? Where are you? What? Uh, I'm sorry, what? What is this about? Are you in the parking garage? Maybe you got lost. I don't know. No, I'm I'm not supposed to be anywhere right now. Uh, oh my I'm, god! You've got to be kidding me. Do you have the right number? I'm sorry. Yeah, I think so. You're Margaret, right? Yeah. Okay. I, do you remember last week at Taverns Happy Hour? You signed up for a speed dating service. Uh, I I mean I remember putting my name down with some coworkers for fun, but like no then one. Then where ever are you? <laughs> no one ever told me anything about a specific time or place. Boys, stay over there, please. God, <laughs> I'm in a level with you here. I'm new, and I've got a room full of dudes and no ladies. What? Yeah, real sausage fest over here, and I'm going to lose my job if I don't have at least one woman to participate in this. Okay, well, I'm, I mean, I can't, like, drive to where you are right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm at... I'm at lunch and no, I have it's to fine. go back. It's fine. You to don't work. need to drive. You don't need to drive. As long as you're willing to do it over the phone and just meet uh, a few I'm... eligible bachelors, that would be amazing. <laughs> no, sorry, and I, I will get fired. You will save my butt. I don't, uh... Hey guys! Hey guys! We have one. A woman. Yeah, woman. Okay. Woo! Okay. All right, bachelor number one. Here we go. Oh, hold on, I didn't agree to this. Oh, Jace, this is Rolando, and I have been listening to you speak. Uh, hi. Your voice sounds like an angel of all of the angels. Like if there was a haven above the havens, your voice would be the first thing people would hear when they enter the pearly gates. Uh, can you put the lady back on the phone? I need to talk to her. If I were to guess how you smell... I would say it's like a mixture of vanilla and the finest sturgeon of all the world. You think I smell like fish and vanilla? Oh, Jay. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's your time. Oh. Okay. We have to try to get through everybody, okay? Okay. I'm not doing this. I don't don't want to be doing this right now. Just wait till you meet bachelor number two. Hey, Margo. (laughs) My name is Alan Winterbottom. Good God, how old are you? <laughs> Why are you into older men? No. You like that? Not your age, Grandpa. Let, let me ask you something, sweetie. When's the last time you changed a diaper? Oh. Gross. I, I don't need it. It's it's just a kink of mine. Oh, wow. Oh, that was it? That's it. Okay. That, that's it. Oh, my God. So, okay, listen. I know he's old, but apparently he's got money. Uh, you're not listening? Like, I can't. Okay, we'll try bachelor number three. Bachelor number three. Oi. Me name's Frank, but me mates call me Clover. Not interested. I'd like to get to know you, but you can't ask me any questions, all right? That's classified information. I can't tell you anything about my past or what I've done, but I will say I'm closer than you think. Don't look That doesn't sound sketchy at all. Thank you, Clover. Thank you, Bachelor number three. I'm gone. Where did you find these people? So are you into bad boys? Like You mean psychopaths? No, I'm not really up for dating someone who criminal record. That's classified. Yeah, no thank Bachelor you. Bachelor number four. Is it my turn again? No, Alan, I said go sit down. Sorry. Your hips gotta hurt. Someone's in the bathroom now. Uh. Well, hello? Hi. My name's Steady Eddie. <laughs> oh... <laughs> This God. is my first speed dating event. It's exactly my first date ever. <laughs> this is my last speed dating event. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. I, I like a, a granola and long walks on the beach. Well, actually short walks on the beach because sometimes I get sand in my socks. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. My mom told forward. me I can't do yeah. that anymore. Right. And sometime, one time I found a seashell in there. You're done. I okay. love you. Wow. Right. Save the best for last there for you, didn't we? Are you hearing what they're saying? <laughs> I know. I know. So which one are you going to choose? Oof, I don't envy you having to make this choice. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me think about it. Um, none of them. Oh, sorry. I can't accept that answer. What? Because your best friend Caroline said that at the end of this, you had to pick one. What are you talking about? Because she's the one that set you up for a prank phone call. <laughs> what? Yeah. This was a prank the whole time? Yeah, Alan, it's not oh. real. I came here for real yeah. to find love. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are, are you, I thought you were my girlfriend. You told me oh you loved me. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. That's Jose and Jeffrey. And I'm Brooke. We're Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you. Sorry, Margaret. Oh, my God. I was swear to God, I was going to freak out. Like, what is happening? <laughs> Caroline said you're newly single, and she just wanted to welcome you to the dating life. That was the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs>